Let's take it back to when you did turn heel in WCW. When you're backstage there and you're about to join Hall and Nash, form the NWO, turn heel for the really the first time in however long that was, what's going through your mind? Um, well, first off, we didn't tell anybody. Nobody? No, Hall and Nash didn't know if I was coming or not. They didn't know who the third man was? Well, they, there was a possibility because Eric had been, I was filming a movie out in L.A., and Eric had approached me about turning heel. And, no, brother, it doesn't work for me right now. You know, I had was making really good money there, you know, guaranteed money. And I just wanted to keep things going the way they were, even though the red and yellow th- thing was starting to lose a little bit of luster. And it was getting old. And I saw, you know, Scott come out. And I went, ah, it's like a shoot, you know. And I'm watching this from L.A., and then Big Kev came out and power bombed Eric to the table. I called Eric up and said, hey, I'm your third man. He goes, oh, thank God, because we were going to go with Sting. I said, bro, you can't go with Sting. He's not WWF from head to toe. It's in my blood. I mean, I'm the guy. So Eric didn't want to tell anybody, you know. So up until the time I went to the ring, Eric goes, Hogan's not here yet, which, of course, I was yeah. outside hanging yeah. out. Hogan's not here yet, and if he doesn't come, we're sending this thing. So Scott and Kevin went, not knowing if I was coming, right? So um, it's really weird because when I when I look back at the tape, I know Eric was ta- talking about, oh, yeah, well, we spent time outside and we discussed the promo and stuff, and I don't remember any of that because I just went out, and when Mean Gene came in, it was, let me tell you something, Mean Gene. I just rolled with my normal crap you know i was selling out the world and you guys are pumping but bumming gas to get to high school i just rolled with one of my heel promos you know and it was i and i never think about what i'm gonna say until i get out there yeah so you know everything was really cool and all of a sudden i felt that that cold white heat where it got silent for a minute and they started throwing stuff i told me and gene i said you need to go bro you need to get out of the ring because we may have a riot in here and then his nose was bleeding he got hit with something, and he kept his head down. He was scared. I said, bro, you need to run because if we start lighting this place up, we could have a riot here because yeah. it, was, it was that type of heat I hadn't felt for a long time. Yeah, that didn't really happen in WWF where fans would throw things into the ring. That happened in WCW with you guys all the time. Yeah, yeah, it, 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 it pissed everybody off, that's for sure. <laughs> but you guys also turned this whole idea on its head of like heels don't sell merch. Well, people yeah. are still wearing NWO stuff now. Yeah, well, that was, that was my whole thing, you know, because, you know, other than the art form of this business, the guys working together, I mean, you, you know, this is a business, you know. So for me, everybody says, oh, this is a work. Well, it's not a work. This business is a shoot, you know, because if I'm wrestling Stone Cold Steve Austin and we're the main event and he makes more money than me, that's a shoot to me, you know. So I've always been on my game as far as you know the best wrestler is the one that makes the most money Mm. i don't care who's the best worker or who who does this or that the better this is a business so the best wrestler is the guy that makes the most money so this business has always been a shoot to me Mm. you know so when i got when i first went to new york vince mcmahon senior always played paid the champion more than anybody else he would pay back one more than anybody he wrestled you know whether it was a couple grand more or twice as much so I did the best I could to hang on to that for as long as I could, you know. 